What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to show you guys a command line web browser called Lynx. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys a command line based web browser called Lynx. This web browser is pretty cool and I want to show you guys this because it's all command line based and it basically shows the World Wide Web in an older look like back in the 90s when you used to browse the web from the command line before they had web browsers. It's going to be a pretty short video where I go through and just show you guys how to install it in basic navigation of the actual application because we all know how to use a web browser. I know this one will be a little bit different because it's all in the command line, but I want to show you like a use case of one of the reasons I've used links in the past. So let's go on and get started on that. I'll be back in a second. Okay, cool. So I wanted to go on and do this in pop OS. This is a pop OS install in a virtual machine. So let's go on and uh, bring up the terminal so we can go on and install it right fast. And it's a very simple command. Pop OS is Ubuntu based, so it, it uses the apt package manager. So it's very simple to install. So let's type sudo apt install link and it's L Y N X and press enter. And this will install links for us and its dependencies. So let's press Y for yes. Go on and get this thing installed. And like I stated in the beginning, this video will be very short. Like I said, that was a quick install. So let's go down there and go to the man page for links first. Uh, so I can just show you a little bit about it. Well, read a little bit about it. And press enter. And I typed that in wrong. So with an X on the end. Cool. So here we go. Links, a general purpose distributed information browser for the World Wide Web. Uh, so this is the way you use it. You see, you know, you type links, then the options. Uh, optional path or URL you can put the URL in there and a couple other ways you can run it like get underscore data that'll get data uh, post data but let's go down and read the description right fast so links is a fully featured web www client for users running cursor addressable uh, character cell display device so basically within the terminal and if you go here it says it will display hypertext markdown like markup language uh, documents containing links to files residing on the local system as well as files residing on remote systems running gopher HTTP uh, FTP uh, WAIS and NMTP servers Current version of Lynx runs on Unix, uh, VMS, Windows. It, it also runs on Windows, DOS, you know, all that good stuff. It says Lynx can be used to access information on the World Wide Web or to build information systems intended primarily for local access. For example, Lynx has been used to build server several campus-wide information systems. In addition, Lynx can be used to build system ISO systems isolated within a single land so that's enough i mean you can go down in here and look at you know the options they do have options down here you can you know like view things anonymously so it doesn't you know download cookies and all that stuff and uh try to stay anonymous as possible now this thing won't probably won't uh save you if you already had a cookies installed on your system uh then it might recognize that i'm not 100 percent sure so if you logged into something you know you got cookies on your system then it'll probably use those cookies unless you specify up here uh or you can specify when you actually open it up that you don't want to you know save the cookies or but a lot of like newer sites they 
won't work properly unless you accept the cookie so let's go down and press q for quit to get out of the man page and i'm gonna go down and clear and let's go down and i'm gonna, I'm gonna make this thing a little bigger let's uh put it right here and then bring this over about right here and there you go so let's clear again that way the screen is clear and let's go down and run links and what i'm gonna run it against is google.com so you could like i said you could type in the, the url after the command so links and i keep putting a c but it's x uh and then let's just go to google.com boom and this is the instance where i was saying like it'll want to uh want you to download cookies and I'll just go down and hit yes or whatever. That's fine. It'll allow the cookies and then let's put all on there. That way it'll uh, allow everything. But yeah, this is pretty much it. So right now I'm at google.com. As you can see, uh, it looks just like the, you know, the website uh, somewhat except it's in a terminal. So we could type in, you know, let's say keep it techie. Let's type that in. And then press enter it'll take us down to the google search button and there you go and this is the search results for keep it techie so we can go down and look at all the search results uh as you see my youtube channel comes up at the top you can click on that it may or may not work i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not gonna try it uh but this browser is mainly created to look at older websites or websites that don't have like a lot of javascript and and different languages on the page that it doesn't understand or it can't display like you can't display you know certain types of things in html as well you know what i'm saying kind of breaks it down to the text level but that's pretty much it on how i wanted to show you guys how to use it you know what i'm saying you can go to google like that now let me go down and show you guys what i've done in the past and before we do that uh let me go go down and show you some of the commands down here um and they're not really commands they are the keys that you use to navigate uh so if we go down here the arrow keys or up down to you know move up and down on the page and then uh the right arrow will actually follow a link because when you press the down arrow uh, with links, what it does is follows the links uh, to the different areas on the page. So like when we went to the Google search, uh, it went to each link. So if we go down here, you see it says videos, images, news, and then it'll go to each link. So the one that's in green, that's a link. And then it'll take you down to where the next one where it says articles. And that's just pulling in the metadata from my website that google caches so those other links are there as well like on my main page i have you know the main links they are pulled in or cached on google servers and so that's somewhat why they call why why they call it links so each link it'll go to when you press the down and up arrow now let's go back by pressing the left arrow that'll take us back a page and the same thing with for uh the right arrow that'll go forward so whatever link you have selected you could just press the right arrow and that'll actually run that link or open that link and let's press a for all just to allow it from google and then uh there we go and as you can see like some stuff won't pop up like this iframe you see that and then it also wants you to go into an account uh, it's trying to push me to an account which i don't want to use my account on here which i don't even know if it'll work or whatever but anyway back to the navigation if we go down here there's a h for help so if you type h that'll bring up the actual link help page and you can go through here and look at everything under here and like i said it goes through all the links and everything and this is a user guide right here um they got the keystroke commands you can you know look at everything about the actual application so let's press back the back arrow and if we look at some of the other options you look down here it says you know options print 
uh, go main menu uh, quit and search you know and they do have a history in here so that's, that's some of the options you know what I'm saying you can go around and play with it but let me go down and show you what I've actually used this in for in the past like I've had to build like orch servers or you know servers that are headless and you know it doesn't have a web browser on there and a lot of times nowadays I actually use SSH uh, and just connect to the server from my laptop so I can I obviously have a regular browser there so I could pull up like whatever documentation I'm looking at to look to review while I'm going through like let's say a, a headless install on a remote uh, server but let's say you don't have that let's say you only have the command line or let's say you only in you're only in front of the server and you have a you know a keyboard mouse and a screen to a command line server and let's say you need to look up some documentation well this is a good tool for that as long as you have the internet and let me show you guys something right fast uh so so i'm gonna quit right fast uh by press, pressing q and then type y and i'm gonna actually go to another website and so links uh orch linux org and press enter and that will take us to the Orch Linux page. And like I said, this is one thing I've always uh, done in the past when I didn't have a web browser available. I install Lynx. Uh, if it's all command line, then I can go to the wiki, you know what I'm saying? And then go down to the actual install page, which is or the install guide. And let's say I, I just need to look up something from the Orch wiki. Well, this is a good way to actually do it. And I forgot you can, I forgot to explain this, but you can hit the space bar and that'll page down. Uh, and then, you know what I'm saying? You can go back up and let's page back down. But let's say I just need to look at the, you know, verify signature for whatever reason, you know, I can highlight that, press enter, that'll take us to that, to that area. And then I can press the back arrow and that'll take us back up to the top. So it's very simple to navigate. Uh, like we can go down to, you know, verify boot mode, press enter. And there you go. You're down to the boot mode. Um, you can go through and look at whatever you, you know, trying to find within the actual wiki. Uh, then you can go back, you know what I'm saying, to the top. But anyway, this is something I've actually used this for in the past. Uh, so links is a good little tool please check it out you know if you're interested in playing around in the command line actually looking at websites and it's a lot of text-based websites still out there so you might want to do like a little search or whatever and find some text-based websites just to play around with it and learn how to actually use it and navigate through it uh, and you can actually just read articles like one thing i do when i don't want to see all the ads and all that stuff uh, let's say I'm going to like opensource.com or something like that. And I'm just trying to read about something that I want to learn about. It's a good way to, you know, look at it in, in a terminal, you know, without all the ads popping up or without, you know, anything distracting you from what you're trying to go and look at on the website. That's one cool thing about it. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below. And of course, keep it techy.